In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this, which is style your components with advanced custom fields. So we have a header component. I can change the background color to green, the title color to red, the subtitle color to blue. Lovely color combination. Save that, update it. And that's what we're gonna do in this video. Let's get into it. So this is the point we were up to at the end of the last video. We have this call to action component, uh, which we can switch between the two different versions that we made. Um, so that's where we're at. And I've just realized I've been a bit silly and because I've used Tailwind UI, it's quite hard to actually show you how to style the components because I don't want to give away all their classes. So what I'm going to quickly do is use one of their free uh, components to demonstrate this. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly fast forward this, um, feel free to watch if you want, but I am going to be going fast. So I'm going to do this with the header, the free header on Tailwind UI. Okay, so sorry about that. So now we have a different version of the header which we can use and you can actually look at the classes with me because this is the free header on Tailwind UI. So what we're gonna do is look at how to add styles to this header. Um, so it's really simple. We're just gonna go into our advanced custom fields and we're gonna go onto our header flexible content layout and I'm now going to add a, another field and I'm going to make this one a group. So this is going to be a group for all our style settings. Um, there are different ways you can do this. You could, if you wanted to, you could style, put the style in a title group. So you could have a group that's the title and then have the text for the title and then have the color for the title and then do the same for the subtitle. Um, which I do sometimes do, but it gets a bit complicated, not complicated. It just gets a bit annoying to work with because you have to go into every single field when you're creating your page and set the color or you have a default color, but basically it just makes things take a little bit longer. So we're just going to call this, uh, this one styles and it's a group so we can group fields together which makes it really handy. So first thing we're going to say is we're going to do a color picker for the field in our styles and we'll do the background color. And then we'll do a default of, well, whatever, let's do white. And now we'll do Duplicate that just to save us 1.5 seconds so we don't have to select from that drop down menu. Although, if I didn't say that sentence, we would have saved even more time. Um, so, we're going to do headline color, title color, even. A little tip uh, you, you noticed I just wrote in title color there. If you change the field label, delete the field name, click back up there, click back in there, and it will just auto fill that to match the field label. Okay, default color, let's just make it black. And let's do the same for the subtitle.
Okie dokie. Right, that, that'll do for now. I just want to show you this. Um, the one I'm going to show you in a minute is how to adjust the padding, which is actually really useful. The padding of the whole section. But let's just save that and go back into our pages. Okay, and we can see that there. So we've got these styles here. Background color, title color, subtitle color. So let's just update our page. Sometimes it's good to just update the page, even if you haven't changed any of these fields here. Just update the page once you've added new fields because I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes it doesn't automatically add it to your page. So it's not pulling into your, through the API. Um, okay, so let's have a look. Nothing should have changed. We haven't even touched this component yet, but what we're, no we're now gonna do is go into this header component which is called header two, and we're going to get those styles. So let's just output the layout so we can actually see the styles there. Perfect, let's just, let's just get rid of that background gray quickly so we can actually see this. So let's have a look at this. We can see styles and we've got a background color, title color and subtitle color. So what I'm gonna do is change that back so it looks better. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna delete that altogether. And I'm just gonna make a new class here. You can call this whatever you want. Uh, I'm just gonna call it section. And this is what I'm gonna to use to change the background color. Uh, so we make a style and make it scoped so that it's only going to use these styles in this component. So if you, for some reason, make, I don't know, have a different component with the same class names that we're about to make, there won't be any kind of conflict there where they're just messing around with each other. So section, and then we're going to say background color or background. And now we go V dash bind brackets and then quotation marks. And now we go layout styles and background color. So this is referencing the advanced custom field that we just made. So we called it, so we got the whole layout and then we made styles group and then within that styles group, we made the background color. So that is that. So save that. And hopefully this section should have, well, we won't really know. So let's just refresh it because it is a back, it was white background color by default. So that should be white either way. So if we go into here and we change it, make it red, let's update it we might need to refresh or restart the server, should I say. Okay, now it's worked, that's good. Sometimes you need to restart the server. Don't know why, just, just that's not how it is. Uh, okay, so now we can do the same thing for the title, or we can try, I don't know if this is gonna work, should do, but we can do an inline style. So let's just see, there's different ways of doing it. So if we say style, so colon style equals, and then we wanna say, color uh, I have no idea if this is gonna work to be honest with you because I don't know it should work styles and then we go title color also remember to get rid of any classes in here so I save that uh, again, I think we set the f title color to, oh, okay, has that worked? Yeah, I think it's worked, which is good. Let's just change that color and have a look. Title color, let's just do something horrible, green, like that. Yeah, okay, so that's working. So we'll do the same thing for the subtitle. I personally prefer to use the classes down here and, and vbind, but 
it's just personal preference really. Um, and now that should be working, so that's great. Let's get rid of that. So you can see how that's working. Um, now the next thing I'm going to show you is how to adjust the padding. The reason I like to do this is when you have certain components next to each other, not very good example to use the header, but let's just say for example, we wanted to have two header components, one here and one right next to it. And the content in between them, well, was related somehow. Um, we might want to have different size paddings uh, so that it's like half of the usual amount of padding on each so that it just looks better. Hard to explain, but do you know what? I'll just show you. It's easier if I just show you. So let's go back to our advanced custom field, flexible component. And I'm going to quickly go into our header again and into our styles. And then I'm just going to make a new field and I want to make a, I'm just going to call it, hmm, is this going to be a group? Mm, 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 no, I'm going to make two different padding. Yeah, I'm going to make a select, a select if that's not possible. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do the top padding and then I'm going to do the bottom padding separately. So I'm talking about in this component, the padding, obviously. So we're going to call this one top padding. And the choices are, we're going to have full half and none. And the default is going to be full. Okay. And now I'm going to do the same thing, duplicate it from for the bottom. So I'm going to delete that there automatically thoughts that okay save that go back to our page home page okay key when it loads right and now we can see we have these two select menus so let's just let's just set that one to none just so it helps us demonstrate it more so the bottom is none top is full so at the moment, nothing should have changed in here because we haven't actually touched this component. But let's go to our header. And what I like to do is something like this. So now, sorry, let's just sort that out. We can conditionally load classes based on that uh, data that we're getting from our advanced custom field. So what I'm going to say is I need to adjust these basically in a second. Let's just leave them here for now. These are the padding classes, but we're going to say if the layout styles top padding equals full Then we want to show a class. Okay. So full, bear in mind this is the top. So we've got here PY24. So the padding is going to be 24 at the top and 24 at the bottom. So we want to say, because this is top padding, we want to say padding top 24. And if it doesn't equal full, if top padding isn't full, we don't want anything, okay? And now we want to do the same thing, but we want to do it for if it equals half. So if it equals half, we want it to be half of that. So we'll say 12. And if it equals none, then we want nothing. I don't think we even need that, but 
my brain's not working too well, so let's just do that. Okay, so full, we want padding top 24. Padding top half, 12. Padding top none, then we want nothing. So we wanna get rid of those in a second, but we need to do the exact same thing for the bottom. So it does get a little bit messy, but bear in mind, once you've done this, you don't really need to touch this component. So it's not like the clutter is that much of an issue. So let's just say padding, oh, so bottom padding is none. And we leave it as that. Bottom padding is half. Then we want to say padding bottom or PB 12 and bottom Padding is full, padding bottom 24. Save that. Let's have a little look. So, hopefully, when we refresh that, we should have only top padding full. No, it hasn't worked. I might need to restart this, the uh, server. Let's try that. Do its thing. Sorry about that, my um my camera ran out of um memory. So basically uh, I figured out why it's not working. I didn't actually delete those classes that I said, so I need to delete these. Also, I can add these uh, classes for when the screen is above small, but let's just delete them, save it, and now refresh it. Okay, there we go. So now we have no padding at the bottom and full padding at the top. So if we go into our page again, we can do half and half, update. Give that a refresh. And now we have half at the top and half at the bottom when it loads. Um, so let me just demonstrate what I was talking about. So if we wanted to maybe have a couple of these, let's just duplicate that. So the top one we say, top title, okay. And then we want to have, so we'll have top padding full, bottom padding half. And then for this one, we'll have top having, top having, top padding half, bottom padding full. So hopefully by doing this, you can kind of see why I'm doing it. It's, it's more if you have like features, so you have like text, image, and then text, image, and these two sections are related. Let me just refresh this so you can actually see. Sometimes it looks weird if you've got full on padding. Well, I'll just demonstrate how it's weird. If this distance here is both there and then again, it just looks weird. It doesn't look right. It's just too much. I'll show you. I'll just show you because it's easier. So let's just say full and full on this one just the gaps too big so especially if the, the sections are the same color if they're different colors it you can have the full padding it just but see what i mean that just looks rubbish uh whereas if that's half and half it looks better so anyway that's how you can style uh your components using advanced custom fields nuxt free and tailwind css um Thanks for watching, subscribe, leave a comment, please, uh, like the video as well, and next time, I'm not sure what we're doing next time, but just watch the next video, um, it'll be something good, something related to this, probably, hopefully. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, see you next time.